Hi, Sophie here. So today we're talking about the cookware that you really need to avoid and the cookware that you really need to look for. Okay, so there are four main cookware items or kinds of cookware that I personally avoid. Now I cook a lot at home. I am a serious home cook and you can see my stove behind me. I cook almost every single night in the daytime too. So it's really important for me to have cookware that's not only non-toxic but also cookware that's super functional and just works like a dream. And I see cookware very much as being an investment because price per use, I use my pots and pans a lot. And the thing is, you don't need a huge variety of pots and pans. It's kind of like knives. Once you get your favorites, you really only need two or three, and then they become the workhorses of your kitchen. So let's start off with what to avoid. And I'm gonna show you in a minute my very favorite cookware and an incredibly special deal that they're offering. And it really is super, super, super special for me only, meaning for you only, my community. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. So let's go over the four kinds of cookware to avoid. So number one is ceramic coated cookware. I have been tempted in the past because they're, they look so beautiful, some of those big, particularly the Dutch ovens. However, they very easily and quickly chip leading to leaching from what is below the metal, whatever it may be below the ceramic coating. So A, you don't want bits, chips of ceramic coating in your food and you don't want to ingest that. And B, you don't really want uh, to be uh, have leaching from the metal that is below the ceramic coating. So that's number one. Ceramic coating for me is a no. Number two is aluminum cookware and even if it says it's coated i'm very wary of it because the moment a cookware says that it's coated to me it means and actually it's actually i've seen it it's happened in my own kitchen that coating can very easily chip off and then you have aluminum leaching into your food and you don't just as a side note want to cook on aluminum foil either the studies show that it can leach into our food and of course aluminum is is not something that we want in our body it has many deleterious health effects so we go back to no ceramic coating, no um, aluminum. Number three is the more obvious one, which is Teflon, non-stick Teflon. Much has been written, much ado has been made about the deleterious health effects when it is heated at a really high temperature. But you think about it, most of the time we'll use those Teflon non-stick coatings in order to apply very high heat for frying or sauteing so that said whatever the item is doesn't stick. But the moment it's heated to four, about 450 degrees, that's when the problems happen. I just avoid it completely. And number four would be copper cookware. I know it looks beautiful in a chef's kitchen, but you don't want all that extra copper, most definitely not in your food. So that leads us to what are the two, because I'm gonna show you the two that I use in my home that are the workhorses of my kitchen. And in just one second, I'm gonna to get to that very special offer and stick around, because if you miss this, you will kick yourself. Because as you know, if you follow me and you subscribe to me, I don't sort of say that lightly. If I say I only have a few of something, it really does mean that. So the first thing, actually I'll get to that straight away. So the cookware of my choice, the workhorse in my kitchen is stainless steel. You cannot go wrong with stainless steel. However, if you use stainless steel, you wanna use a brand that is really stellar because I've seen some that are kind of not so well made, uh, brands that are made you know, overseas, uh, in China, and, and very just quality not so good. 
This brand is my favorite, and if you are a subscriber of mine and you watch my videos, I've mentioned it many times before, is 360 Cookware, and I discovered them about eight or nine years ago at the Chicago International Home and Housewares a big uh, conference that they had, uh, expo I should say, and I'll never forget when I found them because I was completely bowled over. A very good friend of mine who's a chef was actually demoing and I was like, oh my gosh, that is, it. because aside from the fact that it's really safe, it employs a very unique uh, cooking technology. It's called the vapor lock technology. So in a way, this little pan, which is the 360 quart saucepan, this is the saucepan that I use every single day to cook sides, to cook um, any kind of veggie. And again, if I'm just cooking for one or two, the one quart is a perfect size. And this, by the way, is the special offer that you're going to want to hear about. Um, so if you're cooking broccoli, corn, potatoes, beans, um, anything from a sort of relatively quick veggie cook to a more fibrous veggie, this is the way to cook it. It's the perfect size, as I say, for one or two people or a side if you're cooking more. It's waterless cooking and that basically means use a tiny bit of water. So it's very eco-friendly. And because you're using a tiny, like two, three tablespoons of water, because of that, you're losing very, uh, very few of the nutrients. Um, unlike regular traditional steaming or boiling, this is a way healthier method of cooking. You basically put in your veggie, and in another video, I am going to demo how to how I cook my broccoli in this because it's pretty cool. But you pop it in, you put the lid on. The lid's really important. You put three tablespoons of water, say with you know a head of broccoli. You put it on a medium heat. The moment it starts to steam, you turn the heat down to the lowest it'll go, forget about it, walk around your kitchen. And what happens is the lid locks, it forms a little vapor lock onto the base. So it sort of pressure steams it. So my broccoli is almost perfectly cooked in about three minutes. Corn, three minutes, potatoes a little bit more and so on. But back to the, the sort of the reason why this is healthy as a metal and not um, completely non-toxic. It's stainless steel. This is surgical grade stainless steel. It's, there's three different layers of surgical, uh, surgical grade steel that they, that are, that, by which these uh, saucepans, all their cookware is constructed with. This is a family run company. I have met the family in America with a man one big manufacturing plant, uh, all locals are employed that hand make each saucepan. Now, in the past I've said, look, this is an investment because it's not an inexpensive piece of cookware. However, this saucepan, I'll just cut straight to the chase before I go, go on to my other cookware that I like. Um, this saucepan is norm normally $149. And many of my community have purchased it and are thrilled with that at this price because eight years later, they're still using it and they love it and use it every single day like I do. However, now for a very, well, I was going to say limited time, there's a very limited amount of them um, that 360 are very kindly giving to me to give to my community because I'm all about plant-based cooking. I'm all about teaching you to cook and eat healthier. And in order to cook healthier, this would be the uh, one of the pans that I would really recommend. So, the price that you can get it for, and I'll just have to take away that link when they're sold out from underneath the video, is $49.99. So, it's usually $149.99, but now it is $49.99. You literally need to go right now and buy, it's first come first served, so buy four, five of them for holiday gifts this year. Honestly, it is, I, I'm giving them to my, I'm giving one to my brother, I'm giving one to my aunt, I'm giving one to my sister-in-law, I hope she's not watching, but it's a really, really high quality gift to give to somebody who loves 
to cook. So again, I'm sorry if they've run out and you'll know because I don't want to take down this video because of the other information I'm giving you, but if they run out, that just simply, there won't be that link underneath. I'll put, sorry, they've gone. So jump to it and get your 360 one quart saucepan. And the other thing also um, that I forgot to say is it's not just for veggies. So it's a great saucier pan. Uh, you can cook your sauces in it. Really great for plant-based cooking. Um, I use it to make my plant-based cheeses. So it's very, very versatile. There's so many different ways that you can cook with it and it cleans really easily. So that's that. Now, finally, I just want to get to my other workhorse of my kitchen, which is my cast iron pan. And I love this size of cast iron pan. What size is it actually? <laughs> I don't even know. It's just like a bit bigger than my head. Um, anyway, it is a, you'll know what it is, uh, but it is, it's lodge um, pan. And um, I love it. It's actually really great for um, vegans because of the iron, you do actually, the iron from the cast iron actually is, gets into your food, it's leached into your food. So in this case, in this sense, with cast iron, it's a good leach and it's the only time that leaching is good from a saucepan. And you know, for another video that I can do, I can do about how to really season it well, um, which means that it's going to get a patina on it and turns it into, if you like, a non-stick pan. And that's really important. And there's no big mystery to it, by the way. It's really easy. You just get a piece of paper towel so uh, soaked in any kind of veggie oil, and you'll just rub it all the way over the surface a few times, like almost massage the oil into it. And then I put it on a very, very low oven and turn the oven off and just leave it. And basically that's how I season my pan. I'm really, really low tech with it. And the most important thing that I've learned with my cast iron pan is not to uh, use soap to wash it. Because if you use soap, you will scratch off that lovely seasoning. So the tip for washing it, by the way, for uh, cleaning it is don't use cold water, take it off the heat. And while it's still hot, use warm water and a scrubbing brush. And that is it, no soap. And then just gently pat it dry. And then you might have to re-season it. So just do, you know, uh, massage the oil into it one more time. And if the oven's still warm, uh, just pop it in there, leave it there. You can forget about it. So it's really, really easy. So that's it, my friends cast iron and stainless steel are i think the least toxic the healthiest way to cook in other videos i'll actually go through a demo uh, cooking searing i think i've actually demoed in this pan searing tempeh in one of my other videos a tempeh steak which is one of my very very favorite whole food plant-based dishes but i'll demo definitely how i cook other things in my little one quart 360 pan so i hope you found that video helpful and uh do leave me questions because i know this will probably bring up bring up quite a few questions about well what about this or what about that or i've got this really expensive um cookware line for my wedding off my wedding registry and i know it's just so annoying if you didn't have this information and you're like oh no i've just got all this stuff now so you know ask away and the community i have a very interactive community they're very kind very supportive and so everybody jumps in and answers each other i see like ugh, loads of replies which i absolutely love and then of course i'll try and come in and answer as best as i can too but get your cookware because if you love cooking it is absolutely worth the investment and particularly with that really good deal with the 360 cookware i will see you next time bye hi thank you for watching this video if you liked it there are hundreds more and please also visit my blog at sophieuliano.com for detailed reviews recipes diys and more